Right, so after watching that, you're probably gonna want to see. Oh god, it's too close. Probably gonna want to see the um, the traits and whatever. So this is these are the stats. This this is the gear I'm using. Invaders raw hide mask of the fighter. I'm using fighter runes for this commander build. Um, I'm using yeah. So it's power, toughness, vitality, runes of the fighter. Done. Right, um, I want the runes of the fighter because I want power, because I require base damage to finish this, to uh, kill my opponent basically, and toughness because I need to survive when I'm commanding, I can't go down every second, that's just ri ridiculous. When you use, uh, for the sixth um, one, when you use a healing skill, you gain might for 20 seconds. When in 1v1s, as you can see over here, I use hide and shadows. I'll use hide and shadows for 1v1s. So if I use a healing skill, I'll go invisible. So um, I'll go invisible, get regen. And on top of that, while invisible and that I have that regen, I'm gonna um where is it? I'll get might for 20 seconds. Also, before I go on, you will see when I get the might for 20 seconds and I have all those like those little buffs going on. Where is it? I regenerate health while in stealth. So, I'm pretty much going to be like over 60%, 65, 70% HP throughout the fight, as, as you saw. I was like full health pretty much throughout the whole thing. Um, and yeah, I'm using DPS weapons. So, I just I want the crit damage when, for, for when I do actually crit. I won't be critting much, but when I do crit, the crit's going to hurt. Um, my bow is gonna um, be power, toughness, and bit, just like my gear, because I want the extra power and toughness. And on my bow, I've got uh, gain plus 10 healing for every uh, throw I kill, 25 stacks. So when I do get the 25 stacks, that's 250 plus 507. That's gonna be six, seven, seven. That's a bit over 700. So that's very, really decent. As you can see, my precision is quite low. So I'm not really relying on crits for this build at all, because you got you got to survive when commanding, not crit. So that's what I'm working at. My trinkets aren't finished yet, uh, and so my toughness is only around 2,700 pretty much. I'm going for 3,000 toughness. I've been telling a lot of people, and um, yeah, these these are the trinkets I'm using right now. This will be changed. I will be getting new back gear. I will be getting new Valkyrie, yeah, and I'll re and I'll re-edit the video and re-upload it once it, the trinkets are done. The trinkets I want to get will be looking something like this. But if you can't afford these right now, um, the ascendants and stuff, and you don't have the laurels and all that for that just yet, you want to be looking towards getting Valkyrie because you want the crit damage for when you do crit, and you want the bit and you want the power. Once, while you don't have this ended, get Valkyrie, I recommend. Um, and yeah, so that's that. Let's look at the traits. I've put 20 into Deadly Arts, because remember, I am relying on base damage. Um, so, stealing a past poison for 10 seconds. And in this build, you do steal quite a lot. Because of the you don't have still regen or anything like that, but you do still quite a lot. Um, ceiling applies point for 10 seconds, so that's that. Deal damage, I've put a mug, deal damage and gain life while stealing, because we want to obviously keep our health up as much as possible. Uh, Lotus poison for level 15. Uh, weaken targets when you poison them, so after stealing they're going to be weakened. And that now, um, Master, I've put um, uh, for 20 combined training. So dual skills deal 5% more damage. If I show you, let's drag this over. Um, if I show you, if I drag this over, uh, dual wield. This is dual. So if I use that, it's going to increase the damage by one by uh, 5%. And I use shadow step, a lot, shadow shot a lot. So this is a uh, this build is called the Commander Shadow Shot build. So when 1v1ing you're going to be shadow shotting, when commanding you're going to be using your bow, these two skills here. But yeah, when 1v1ing you're going to be using, you're going to be shadow shotting for this a lot. 
and blinding. Shadow Shot also blinds as well, so that's really good. Um, yeah, you for I haven't put any crit strikes because obviously I don't depend on critical strikes for this build. So moving along, um, Shadow Arts, 300 toughness, 300 healing. That is what we want. Gain two initiative when you use a skill that stealths you. Oh wait, before I go on, use blinding power when your health reaches 25%. So this way you don't need to actually pop your heal to go stealth and heal up. You go stealth first, then you can heal and get more stealth while you're healing, basically. As I said, while you're in stealth, you gain health, so that's going to put your health up as well before you even pop your heal. Gain 2 initiative when using a skill that stealths you. Um, and yeah, when using a skill that stealths you, so if you use that, when you're on low initiative, you're going to get 2 initiative back, so you can shadow step again. And then, if we're moving along... Stealth skills last one second longer. That's really pointless, but that's not why I've got this, you know, the attributes put into here. Stealing grants two seconds of stealth. When I steal, you do get an opportunity to go in for a backstab. You saw I missed one when I shadow stepped, but when you steal, you do get an opportunity to backstab right after the steal. So that is really good, seeing as I have no crit damage, no crit chance whatsoever. I have got a little bit of crit damage, and um, that is why the little opportunity for a backstab is good. Gain might for 15 seconds when you go into stealth. This is good again because when you on um, when you do steal, you're gonna go invisible. So when you do go in for a backstab, you got extra damage on that backstab. Regenerate health while in stealth. This is the main one, guys. When you're stealth, you're gonna regenerate health. One second, guys. Let me just reply to my brother. Um and yeah, acrobatics now. So you're gonna get 200 vit. Uh, and 20% boon duration. We don't really have much boons for this, but then again, that's not why. We put we put it in because we need the health, because we're commanding, you can't have like 10k HP while commanding, you get one shot by a glass cannon. Gain two seconds of swiftness on evade. We do actually dodge a lot in this build, uh, so yeah, that helps. Release blinding power when you fall, when you, t when you fall, so um, will take less 50% less falling damage definitely want to have that on um, because obviously you don't want to you want to you want to drop but you don't want to have to take too much fall damage 15 dodging returns some of the endurance use this is exactly what we did it for we need all of this we need as much dodge we, we can get uh, and for the second one heal yourself whenever you use a skill that uses initiative so when we shadow step, when we shadow shot, we're going to be healing ourselves. When we, you know, shadow shot a lot, when we stun. So all of these are going to be required, giving us back health. So, yeah, that is the build, guys. Um, I'm not done the build. I need, there will be tweaks and whatever. Um, trinkets will be changed, definitely. As you see, I've changed that out. These were my old pistols and whatever. I might put them back on. For the extra toughness because the precision isn't really working i don't need it but the five percent critical damage on here is working and so i will be carrying on using these for now but if there are valkyrie weapons um, i think there are they might be i'm after check i'm not i haven't confirmed that yet there are valkyrie weapons i will be getting the valkyrie weapons for crit damage and the power for when i do crit and i need the hp so yeah in this build you will have around this much hp average you will be going up to around 18 19,000 so um yeah so this is the build guys thanks for watching um and yeah cheers